is Alice from Kitchen Michuka. This is where you get to spend less time in the kitchen. You get to also have fun in the kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ugali. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All we need is maize flour and water, and of course, a saucepan. I have here one liter of water. I'm going to put just a bit in a separate bowl, and I'll use this to put my maize flour in, then the rest I will bring to boil. Okay. So I'm going to put flour in my cold water so that it doesn't form lumps if I put it on directly. And remember the flour that I'm going to put here is enough to make it into porridge. I'm talking about that thickness. In short, we are making porridge and letting it boil for some five minutes. What I've basically done is to put enough flour that will go into this water mixture and cook it like porridge. My water is now boiling. I'll put in this mixture. This is just flour and water, remember? So this is the first process of the ugali. We let it cook like porridge. See, it's not too light and it's not too thick. Okay, so we're gonna let this boil for like five minutes. Our five minutes are over. This thing is boiling. Now we start cooking ugali. So this is where now I really get to have fun. I'm gonna put it in bits, that much. Then, muiko. You have to be careful, guys, and don't reduce the heat. You mix quickly, you add again. People are different. Some people want hard ugali. That means you'll add, you'll add more flour. If you like it light, then less flour. Wow, this ugali is so good. Do you know how it feels? Like plastic. So when you put your hand, you can easily form a bowl and enjoy your meal. Eh? I know that my ugali is ready because the edges are kind of loosening up. Okay? Look at this. It's peeling off the saucepan. Your ugali is ready. So this is where now I really get to have fun. So now I'm just preparing to remove it. So how much time did we use to make this ugali? About 10 minutes. Here's our ugali. Look, nice. I'll just pour it like this. This is how you make ugali. It's nice, it's soft, and when you're eating it, it won't touch your hand. As I'm making a ball in my hand, just look at that. The, it's not sticky. That means this ugali is well cooked. Ah, karibuni. Ugali is nice. You can serve this ugali with vegetables, with meat, whatever it is. But this is how to make good ugali. Mm, nice.